Hey, what's up everyone? For our third day of update news for the August 2021 update, we got some stuff that's been talked about and leaked for the last like two months or so. And this is going to be pretty exciting, but before we get more into that, here's just a quick recap of what we got so far for this update. So, on Monday, which is two days ago, they announced the first small new item that we're getting this update, which is the energy drink. So, obviously, it's basically going to be kind of like the donut. Like, you would just walk into the gas station, you automatically have it, and you could use it in case you want, like, a little boost or something for a short period of time, and then your boost would, like, run out and you would get side effects. Like, I'm guessing maybe your health would, like, decline a little bit. And it was yesterday. Yesterday, Bademo unveiled Season 5 and all the meme-related prizes that we're getting. Now, I should mention this first, and I should warn you guys that it looks like the troll face does have some kind of copyright issue on Roblox, so we were gonna get these troll face rims as soon as you reach level 3 if you do own the Seasons Pass, but unfortunately, I think they're gonna have to cancel the troll face rims. So, Asimo did say that he's gonna replace the level 3 prize with another community-made rim on Reddit. Do I expect it to take a little while because I bet it's it kind of takes a long time to like cho choose like one rim out, out of like a hundred submissions so I wouldn't expect him to like unveil um, what we're getting for level three until like later tonight so anyways let's just get on track with what they announced today so I did mention that this has been kind of a long-awaited feature ever since they kind of leaked it like two months ago and yes this weekend we are getting our apartments v2 update now this is gonna be really exciting again and don't expect everyone to like still use these apartments like I'm pretty sure like an average jailbreak player that that just cares about grinding I, I don't think they're gonna be using these apartments still all the time but I could tell that everything coming this update is probably gonna make these apartments like have an actual purpose anyways let's just go through each thing that's coming with these apartments so Automatic saving with full crew support and each home gets a unique safe. Gun racks, place up to three guns. Vending machines for donuts in the new drinks. And VIP radios and confetti gun returns. More news tomorrow. But anyways, the first thing that's coming with these apartments is, yes, automatic savings, finally. Now, this is kind of the big thing, and what this basically means is every single apartment slash home in this game will have their unique saving slots. So that means it doesn't matter, like, which apartment or house that you get, but as long as you, like, place some furniture inside those apartments or whatever you rented, you go ahead and rent those apartments again, and your furniture progress will be saved. And yes, apparently this was was a lot of work for Asimo and Bad CC to accomplish, so. This is probably gonna be a pretty big deal for the apartments, cause, I mean, that's probably the main reason why no one was really using the apartments before, is because, I mean, once you just, like, rent an apartment again, your furniture progress is just empty. Like, let me just go ahead and rent this one for an example. I'm just gonna, like, um, get into it and just make, like, a cheap living room. There, there's my cheap living room, and then now I'm gonna just leave the game and then rejoin right away. Then we're gonna go ahead and go back to the house we had before over here. Let's just re rent it again, and just go in, and as you see, nothing, just empty in here. So yeah, you basically get the idea. As soon as this update comes out this weekend, it's all gonna change. So, once you get back in your house, your furniture progress will be saved, and this goes for every single house and apartment as long as you, like, did something with those. And also, while we're on the topic of, like, furniture saves, it looks like your crew will have, like, access to actually place furniture inside the house. Like, I'm not sure if your crew will be able to, like, actually access your inventory and, like, just place down whatever items you own. Or if your crew members will be able to, like, access their inventory inside your house and, like, place their own furniture down. But it's definitely gonna kind of target that roleplay audience. In case you basically have, like, a criminal team family in your house and, like, each of your crew members kind of want to design their own, like, um bedroom or whatever. My biggest guess is your crew members will probably have access to your inventory because, I mean, there is a limit to how much furniture you could place in each house. So I think it would only make sense if your crew members will be able to access your inventory instead of them accessing their own, if you know what I mean. But anyways, the next thing that's coming to these V2 apartments is, yes, gun racks. Place up to three. So this is what the gun racks are going to look like. It's just a little gun station. I actually kind of predicted we would maybe get something like these, like a small station to, like, a equip your gun so it's probably gonna be some kind of wall item you'll just be able to like place wherever as long as there's room and there's not like a window or a door block in the way but yes you can only have up to three guns at a time it turns out 
you can't like put any like guns that involve like buying ammo um like to place on these racks because obviously that does kind of involve going back to the gun shop and like um buying them and that would just be a waste of time so with these new gun racks i don't think you'll be able to like equip anything like these c4s or any of like the bomb related objects like the grenades or the rocket launcher so i'm pretty sure we're only limited to like the regular guns in these in the games like all these pretty much next up we got vending machines for donuts and the new drinks so let's go over to the last picture we got right here as you can see these vending machines will all, like have a new color to them a new ui currently in the game we do have vending machines but they just have no purpose and they cost like 10 grand anyways to buy just for these stupid decorations of a vending machine so judging by the picture it looks like there's going to be a separate vending machine for the soda and a separate one for the donuts so this is going to be pretty exciting indeed i'm guessing you would just go up go up to these vending machines you would maybe like click e or something and you automatically get one of these snacks in your inventory to use whenever but it looks like we are actually getting more furniture items like just regular furniture items this update because as you can see we got this like starfall like jailbreak painting right here but currently in the game we have let me just go to the store real quick we have only this painting that's in the game let me just, let me just go to my inventory yeah this is the only painting we really have in the game which is obviously this chicken man and also another thing that i kind of noticed if you go to the vending machine picture you can see we have like these indoor plant decorations we kind of had these before um like before we got like our apartment update um like a few months back so but yes the last thing that's returning to these homes and apartments this update is v VIP radios and confetti gun. Now, if you guys have played Jailbreak like three months ago before we got the apartments update, you probably remember that um, there was like a confetti gun and a VIP radio if you own like the VIP pass in your apartments. Basically, the confetti gun just like makes your um, apartments like rain confetti basically, and there was also like just like a VIP radio, nothing special, but those are finally returning. But one more little tiny thing that they're adding th to these apartments is new crew markers to easily find your crew. Like, obviously, we really recently got like features just like this where if there's like other people in the game that are on like the same team as you you have the option to like actually see where they are so so the same thing is basically coming to your to your like crew members but um there's probably going to be like another unique marker probably like red in color or maybe like a different symbol on it to like spot where where the rest of your crew members are um pr pretty simple then maybe there's like an option to turn that off or not but we'll just have to wait and see but yeah that's basically everything i need to talk about about today's update news regarding like an apartment apartment v2 update yeah this is definitely gonna make the apartments like much more useful and give them an actual purpose now again don't expect everyone to like use these i'm pretty sure they're still gonna be somewhat useless anyways yes we are gonna get more update news tomorrow which is pretty obvious because usually thursday is the last day we get like update news and friday we usually get the update coming out like that night but my biggest guess for tomorrow's news is we're gonna get a new supercar coming to the game like a really fast car that we haven't really had before on the game or at least not for a while that's just my biggest guess because, I mean, asimo has been promising for a while at this point, even on, on his, like, voice reveal Q&A, that he does have plans for a pretty cool vehicle to be added sometime this summer, so. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, this is looking like a pretty good update so far. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.